Hey there, Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com, and today I'm gonna to be giving you a sneak peek at the Lamy Safari 2024 Special Editions called Violet, Blackberry, and Pink Cliff. They've been rolling these out annually for a number of years now, and this year they're doing them in a pair. The size and shape is identical to other safaris, so I won't get all into the details of the safari because it's pretty well known. It's basically just the colors that are gonna make these ones special. Now, Pink Cliff has sort of a pewter color, maybe like a steel blue gray that has a real subtlety to its color. It has a matte finish with a black clip that looks really nice when it's paired together. And what I wasn't expecting though was the color pop of hot pink on the grip and the top finial. To my knowledge, I think this is maybe the first time that they've done this, though I think anyone with a couple of safaris can relate to Frankenpenning their own safari combinations together. I give you the Lamy Safari Wrong sandwich. Now I have to admit, the combination is taking a little bit of getting used to for me, but this blue-gray color is unlike anything else that I've seen from Lamy, and the color pop has really started to grow on me. And I think the black nib and the black clip is just perfect for it. Now Violet Blackberry is a deep purple color that I would call maybe like a plum. Uh, and it's got a shiny finish to it. Now, Lamy was on a roll here and also did the two color thing on this one too, with the grip and the top finial has kind of a magenta color. Uh, and it's got a matte finish, so they kind of blended the two. Now I have to say, I love this purple color on the body. The magenta, I think, pairs really well with it. And I really prefer the feel of the matte finish on the grip, so it's actually more comfortable for me to hold in my hand. And then the black clip and the nib on this one, I think is a really solid choice too. Now, Lamy has quite a few safaris out at this point, and it can be helpful to see where the colors of these ones fall compared to others out there. So let's take a look. Now, admittedly, the two pens next to each other look a little bit odd to me. I think maybe I like them better each separately, but that might just be me. Uh, I feel like I'm wanting the Pink Cliff body to look more purple than it should when I look at it next to the Violet Blackberry, but it's really not that purple. Lamy Safari Dark Lilac. So this pen was Lamy's first purple safari and boy did it hit the spot back in 2016. It also has the black trim with a matte finish like the Pink Cliff, but certainly a much more of a deep purple color. It's pretty distinctly different from the Violet Blackberry, especially because you've got the matte versus the shiny thing going on. Lamy Safari Petrol. Now this color isn't really close at all, but I thought it'd be helpful to see, maybe just because this was a follow-up to Dark Lilac, had the matte finish and the black trim, and at least gives you, you know, a different reference point. The Lamy Safari Violet. So the next purple safari that they did came out back in 2020 as part of a trio of colors, and it's called the Safari Violet. Now this one was a much brighter purple and it has matching trim to it. And I think a lot of people overlooked it because that's when all the COVID stuff was going down, but you know, you can see here how it compares. Lamy Safari Charcoal. So this is a regular edition Safari and it's consistently a top selling color year after year. It's got a matte finish, black trim, and it helps you to see more of the color that really comes out in that pink cliff, especially. The Lamy Safari Pink. Now I wanted to show the Safari Pink regular edition because it's a pretty close match to the grip of the Pink Cliff. It doesn't really have a whole lot to do with the Violet Blackberry. Um, but the finish is gonna be shiny on this pen instead of the Pink Cliff. Um, so it does look a little bit different. Lamy All-Star Black Purple. Now this one looks a little different because it's an all-star. It, so it's like similar in shape uh, to the Safari, but it's got metal instead of resin. So the finish looks a little different, uh, but I thought it'd be helpful to see the dark purple color here for comparison. Now let's talk ink recommendations. Now I'm very, very happy to report that after several years without having inks for their special editions, they're doing matching inks for both of these pens. Violet Blackberry. So you have two colors to work with on this pen. You can go with a more subtle plum color to match the pen body. And I think that there's a ton of great dark purples that can pair with this. So I have a bunch to mention, but there's a bunch more that you probably wanna check out on our site if you use the purple filter and you can see what looks close to your eyes. Now I find a lot of the purples in this range to have pretty similar properties. Um, so I can recommend them. They're all pretty well behaved um, and they're really good. I think find dark purples to be really good, like safe for work colors that are kind of more interesting than your typical blues and blacks. Um, so I'll just list off a few of my favorites here. First, I would have to recommend the Lamy Blackberry ink that they've paired up with the Violet Blackberry pen. Now this is a dark color, very saturated and honestly very minimal shading. 
It definitely leans a little more in a maroon, kind of a brown direction. It's a bit less of a vibrant purple, you know, than would match the pen body color. But I think part of the reason for that is because it's got this heavy kind of gold sheen that'll come through. And you'll see that sheen if you're using it with broader and wetter nibs, uh, maybe on an ink resistant paper like Rhodia or Atomo Way River. Now the dry time on this is a bit on the longer side, which doesn't really surprise me for an ink in this shade. Uh, it's in the 20 to maybe 25 second range on Rhodia and a medium Lamy steel nib. Uh, and it's not really very water resistant. So it's kind of a more conventional ink in that respect. Aside from that, uh, we got Diatramentus has a couple really nice colors. Specifically, I love the Diatramentus Aubergine as a deep royal purple that leans a little bit pink. Diamine has a slew of dark purples, and I just have a couple of them to point out to you. Uh, Diamine Monbado's hat is a pretty close match, and it's got a nice vibrant color. And I'm also a big fan of Diamine Eclipse as a darker, deeper purple. Sailor has some really solid matches, specifically the Sailor Ink Studio 935 and 735, and these are both very well-behaved inks. And the last one I'll mention is a little bit out there. It's Rower and Cleaner Scabiosa. Now this is a dusty purple that's technically an iron gall ink, so it's got water resistance, and it's probably the most unique of the bunch. Now if you want, you can go a little louder to match the power accent of the grip in the finial, more of a magenta. One I would recommend is the Lamy Crystal Barrel. It's a bit more of a magenta, but it's a really lovely ink. Diatramentus Purple Violet looks really nice. It's got a lot of vibrancy to it, as well as Diamine Deep Magenta. I think these are all good choices. Now for the Pink Cliff. Just like the Violet Blackberry, you can pick from two different colors to go with Pink Cliff. The body is more of a pewter, kind of a blue-gray, maybe a dusty purple. I don't know, there's kind of debate. I feel like it's like that dress that was the thing, you know, like the purple or gold or the blue or the whatever the heck that thing was. But you know, it's like different people are gonna interpret this color differently, I think. Um, but I'm gonna at least tell you what inks I think match to my eyes. Now Lamy's Cliff ink would be a pretty obvious ink choice since they did design it for this pen. It's a really dark color, darker than the pen body itself. And it's a very distinct kind of navy blue color. It's very saturated, minimal shading, no sheen or shimmer. I think this would be a great work ink. The flow seems pretty generous. It's, it's a pretty wet ink, uh, but however, the dry time is actually pretty decent, better than I expected. Maybe closer to 15 seconds on this Rhodia paper, uh, which is a little shorter than I expected, to be honest. And while I couldn't call it a full on water resistant ink, it does kind of lean in that direction. Uh, I think it's one that if you were to spill Fill some water on your writing with Cliff Ink, you'd actually be able to read it pretty okay. Uh, but aside from that, you have Lamy Blue Black. That's a, like a dustier, more subtle blue that I think actually matches pretty well to this pen. You also have Lamy Crystal Benitoite. This is another more subtle blue, more on the, like the bluish gray. Uh, Diatramatus Document Dark Blue. Now this is a water resistant blue ink. It's gonna feather maybe a little bit more, not quite, have quite as much vibrancy, but that kind of actually vibes well with this finish on this pen. You have Twisby Blue Black, which again is kind of like the Lamy Blue Blacks where it's more of a subtle blue gray and Sailor Shikiyori Shimoyo. And there's some other good sailors in the Ink Studio line too that are probably worth looking at, but I figured I already mentioned enough inks. And again, with this one too, if you wanted a pop of color, you can match that hot pink. You know, starting out Pilot Hiroshizuku Suit Suji. That's a great color, very well-behaved ink. Not too, too vibrant, but if you want something a little louder, Diamine Hope Pink. That's gonna be a more vibrant pink if you really wanted that color to stand out. And then Sailor Ink Studio has a couple that are nice that are probably gonna be more middle of the road. You can look at Sailor Ink Studio 431 and 731. That'll be a bit more subtle, but will complement well. So let's talk about price and availability. The pens are gonna be available for the same price as all the other safaris at $37 MSRP. We're gonna have it just under $30 at Goulet Pens. Now the pens don't come with a converter, so you wanna pick up a Z28. It's an additional six bucks, but that's what you need if you wanna live that box ink life. And the global launch for this pen is going to be February 15th of 2024. So if you're watching this before then, sign up to be notified on GoulaPens.com to get yours. Or if you're seeing it after that, most likely, then these just know that these are special editions. They're going to be around for a while, probably a year or so, but you know, they're only making a certain number of them. I have no idea how long they're going to last. So if it is something you're really kind of interested in, maybe bump that up higher on your, you know, pens to get list uh, and don't wait around forever for them because it's only available for a limited period. So there we go. Let me know what you think of these special edition Lamy Safaris. Do you think Lamy nailed it or are you left wanting? Do you like the two-tone thing? Is that something you want to see more of? I don't know. I'm really curious. So definitely let me know in the comments what you think. If you like this video and you want others like it, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
and get a lot more pen content. Thank you so much for watching and right on.